In the chicken skeleton preparation video, we talked about the parts of the wing bones. Here's a brief recap. Let's begin the wing articulation with the carpal metacarpus and the phalanges and work our way down. I'll be showing you the articulation steps for the right wing. Here's a close-up of the arrangement pattern for the carpal metacarpus and the phalanges. Nothing much to be explained here, so I'll just let the video do the talking. Once we're done with that, we move on to the radius and ulna. This is how the articulated radio ulna looks like. Moving on to the radial and ulnar carpal joints, the ulnar carpal is a U-shaped piece of bone that joins the ulna with the carpal metacarpus. The radial joint is a roughly flat and squarish bone that joins the radius with the carpal metacarpus. Glue the radial carpal to the radius and the ulnar carpal to the ulna like you see in this video.
Once the two carpal joints have been fixed to the radius and ulna, glue the carpal metacarpus at an angle to the radius and ulna via the two carpal joints. This video shows how it's done. And now to the final bit. Glue the humerus to the radio ulna as seen in this video. This is the articulated wing. Follow the same steps with the left wing and you have got both the wing bones covered. The next video that follows will be on articulating the rib bones. You'll find the link to this video in the description below. Thanks for watching.